if my procrastination keeps me inspired, is this still procrastination? I don't know, I don't think so, but you tell me what you think, I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here to talk today, as we always do, but today is a little bit different because we're gonna talk real shit, you guys. We're gonna talk about balancing our lives and basically how to get your shit together kind of stuff. You feel me, right? It's this time of year where I myself feel the most productive. I don't know if it's because it's this back to school tag or whatever, but I... I genuinely love this time of the year. I'm trying to just real hard, just being get your shit together. And I feel like I kind of managed to do this this year. I mean, I'm still on my way there, but I have some tips for you guys, ready? Feel free to grab a snack or coffee or tea or other fall related drink. I'm actually an addict and I have a hot coffee and a cold coffee because why not? I think it's this transition time that I have to say goodbye to summer and I'm really holding onto it so first things first we gotta set the mood for gisting we get motivated either by inspiration or by desperation for me it's usually the second one so things aren't going well i get desperate that's when i start doing shit the thing i noticed though is that this motivation out of desperation doesn't last that long and also never really makes me feel successful when i accomplish something it's just like yeah good thing you did that otherwise you'd be just a piece of shit you know what I'm saying? There's nothing in that that keeps me going. My urge to do something usually lasts a day or two and then I get back to doing nothing and not feeling motivated. That's why this time around I decided to make this a happy experience and an inspiring one, not a desperate, guilty one. So the first thing I did to kind of set the mood was dream stormy. <laughs> There is a big difference in your approach to life when you have a vision for yourself and a sense of purpose than when you don't know where you're headed. I really can't stress this enough. Knowing what you want from life is like the one thing that will keep you motivated no matter what. Sure, you can still get desperate at times because you're not doing shit about your dreams, but then you still kind of know what your dreams are. And it's way easier for you to know what you should be doing if you know what you want to accomplish at the end of the day. That's what dream storming will do for you. Even though I have my goals set and my vision written down, whenever I feel demotivated, I'd like to grab my notebook and a pen and just write all the dreams I have. And they don't really change over time, but just thinking about them, writing them down, makes me feel so inspired because I kind of remind myself that these things are in here, you know? Deep down, in my heart, I'm doing my best to be sponsored by Pinterest. So if you know someone who works at Pinterest, please let them know I exist, okay? okay. Have fun dreamstorming, using notebook or sticky notes. Use the same brainstorming process you would use while brainstorming ideas or solutions for a problem. Don't you dare limit yourself. Try to be specific. There is something genuinely inspiring about the specifics of your dreams. And if you need some inspiration, check out my other video on setting a vision for your life, because that's kind of the same thing that's kind of the step one of the other video already made so check it out i'm gonna link it everywhere i'm gonna link it everywhere so after you have successfully dreamstormed i doubt that's an english sentence but we're gonna move on we're gonna kind of organize that shit next to the big dreams you have written down right a life section that this goal matches if i want to hit 10k on youtube i would write work or YouTube next to that goal. If I want to make a split, I would write fitness or body and so on. And when I finished my own list, I was left with 11 categories of my own life and I've been sticking to these categories for the past month or so, have been really helping me out to balance my life and plan everything so that I have time to do all of the shit that I want to do. If you guys want me to make a video on planning, we can make that happen. Plan with me for November, my own twisted version. We, we can make it work because I'm really obsessed with planning. And because I am cute AF, I decided to give those categories my own little names. For example, work slash YouTube has become hostile. My home slash my room, I call it my cloud. Resting and taking care of myself, I just called it chilling. These are so cheesy, but naming them these cool, cute or cringy names makes me feel so connected to all of my goals. It's weird, I have made it up myself. I don't know, try it out, maybe it works for you too. My goals are really separate, some of them are work related, some of them are body slash fitness related, some of them are money related and I think that's very important if you want to balance your life properly, you have to set goals for different sections and you have to see the, all these sections you really have. For me these are 11 things. 
For you, it can be more or less, depending on what you're doing. Find a common ground between your goals and put related goals to one category. I have to check a word, I don't know if what I said was right. What did I say? Common ground, okay. Yeah, that was good. I don't even know where I know this from. I'm so good. Okay, look guys, I write down everything. I have lots of notebooks and it's fun for me to do it, but you can as well use notes on your phone and your computer or Evernote or Trello or some other app you're using. Just make it work for you. Having all of these sections written down, underneath that I wrote big goals I have for this section. And then underneath that, I have written down habits or tasks that I have to accomplish to get closer to that goal. Should I show you that? Okay, I think I'm gonna show you that. This entire system came into existence while I was traveling because I travel a lot between my home and my hometown. Apparently I'm showing you directions, yay! <laughs> Makes no sense. So, I was literally sitting on a bus and feeling disorganized and I took my notebook that I have always with me and I started writing. This is real shit, you guys. I have goals written down and stuff like this in all my categories. All the things I said to you, I have them written down in here. And because I am aesthetic as fuck, I decided to rewrite them. And that's what you're seeing right now as B-rolls. That's just who I am and help. So I've written down all of the goals or habits that are related to a goal that will keep me getting closer to accomplishing the big stuff, the good stuff, the dreamy stuff. You know what I'm saying. So the next step is creating your own planning system if you haven't already. After I successfully analyzed my entire life and created all of these categories, I saw that it wasn't really doing all of the stuff that I, in theory, want to do. This kind of meant that my planning system didn't work as well as I was thinking. So I came up with a new one, because planning is my own way to procrastinate. My own planning system contains out of a paper planner, a Google calendar, a Trello board, a bullet journal, a cardboard, and a regular notebook. That's quite a lot. I also use Apple Notes, but I'm not gonna talk about it. If you want me to talk about it, I can make a video on that, okay? Right now, I'm just too anxious. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because... The most important thing here is for you to learn how to manage all of the areas of your life so that you know how much time you're spending on fitness or how much time you're spending on working and or chilling because these few episodes of your favorite show on Netflix, they can take a lot of time and maybe it's just a little bit too much of time, you know what I'm saying? I know you do, I, I've been there and I'm there quite often. Some things are about writing them physically down, that helps me, and some things are just about setting a reminder to my Google call. They're like meetings, dates, stuff like that. I just said dates. <laughs> Sure thing, Jules. Also, I've been using time blocks on my Google call. That's also a completely different thing, but they have been really helping me out managing all of that stuff. So just a clue for you. From my heart to you, because I love you. Every time you sit down to plan your months or your weeks, think about the goals you have set for yourself. If you've written down that you need to create a habit like going to the gym, make sure to plan that and put it in your calendar so that you have that planned and that you're ready to roll. Don't lie to yourself that you're gonna manage that somehow, that you're gonna go to the gym when you find time or something. No, Jessica. If it's a habit like going to the gym, schedule in an event that's called go to the gym. And when you want to accomplish something like a goal for example you want to write a book in your planner schedule the time blocks you're gonna actually sit down and write your book so don't tell yourself i'm gonna do this when i feel like it if it's something you want to do just gotta do it jessica do you really believe you're gonna write that awesome book during your breaks at work i don't think so jessica i don't think so if it's something you really dream of you just gotta do that shit the time you have scheduled it it seems like two coffees make me aggressive I'm sorry. So the last thing. My cloud, aka my home, is also on the list of my categories to manage. But there's this little twist. When my surroundings is a mess, I can't really manage anything else. And whoa, that rhymed. I'm so awesome. Keeping my surroundings clean helps me in such things as getting up in the morning. It's way easier for me when my surroundings is clean than when it's just messy and uninviting. This may not be the case for you, but I decided to include that point in because I think it's a case for many, many people I talk to. So when I'm gisting, the first step I do is just kind of clean my surroundings, do that laundry, take all of the clothes I left on my chair and put them back to my closet. Stuff like that, easy human stuff.
problem for me is that I usually choose to do the more productive stuff first, but I'm not productive at all when my place is a mess. So it's kind of like this never ending circle of failure. I decided to change that and next time, meaning like today, I'm willing to clean my surroundings first. If that's the case for you, then take care of yourself and take care of your surroundings because that's gonna help you in the long run to manage all of that stuff you dream of. Is that motivating enough? I don't know, I don't think so. Last but not least, I just wanna say that your priorities and your goals may change over time and that's completely okay. As long as you're honest with yourself, it's all okay and you can change this around. And if it helps, you can have a planning session three times a week. I know I tend to do this and that's probably a way of procrastinating. But if my procrastination keeps me inspired, is this still procrastination? I don't know, I don't think so, but you tell me what you think, well, no. In one sentence, it's okay not to want something anymore, but it's not okay to deprive yourself of the things you dream of because of some shitty limiting beliefs. I really hope you found value in this video. If you like making them, I'm really into aesthetics and planning and I'm really in my spirit right now. As much as I love planning and having everything figured out, there are many, many days that I don't and this drives me crazy and I hate that. But at the same time, it gives me some inspiration or desperation to get shit organized. And these ways have really helped me to kind of set the tone of this fall time and basically the end of 2018. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found the value in it. Let me know down in the comments if you want more videos like this or if you want me to make this plan with me kind of video. You guys know I want to do that. I love you more than I love coffee or two coffees for that matter. And hey, that's a lot. I hopefully see you in my next video and life is a story, so make it a good one. Bye guys.